pointy nub coming from the bottom of the IV. I don't recall, sir. Uh, did, you don't recall telling him if you did? If no, I was, don't recall if I did. No, well, sir. Did you? I, I could have. Yes. But you don't recall? I don't recall, sir. Now, the officer you spoke with was Detective Myers. Correct. Right? Yes. So, Detective Myers, you, you understand, would have taken notes, right? Uh, I believe so, yes. In fact, Mr. Alvarez, did you know you were being recorded? Yes, I did. And did you know there was a transcript of that recording? Yes, I did. Would you have any reason to doubt that transcript? Not at all, sir. Or that recording? No, sir. When we had the preliminary hearing, and you testified there, you were called testifying at the preliminary hearing, right? Yes. You never said anything about a nub or anything attached to the IV bag. Objection as soon as you've asked that question. The objection is sustained. You described the IV bag at the hearing, didn't you? I believe I did. And you didn't describe that there was some nub coming from the IV bag? Um, I don't recall, sir. One of the questions that we asked you at the preliminary hearing was about this milky white substance, right? Yes. And we also talked to you about about this, uh, this, this, the, the IV bag that you said that you saw, right? Correct. We asked, you, we asked you questions about that, right? That's correct, sir. Now let me show you. Is this your sitting here? Turn on the lights, Judge, please. Just don't be happy to. Ms. Bob? <clears throat> Today, you've testified that this, I believe your testimony is this is the bag that you saw. That, that appears to be the bag that I saw, yes, how do, you, how do you know? It looks it looks like the one I, I took off the stand, sir. And um, you notice here, this particular bag, that appears to be the exact bag you saw has no milky substance in it. Yes, sir. I see that. We also, let me go, actually, let me go back to that. We also asked you at the preliminary hearing to describe the vials that you saw, right? Correct. And you said, I can't describe. You remember saying that? Um, I believe so, yes. You said that all you could tell was, was I asked you the color of the, of the labels, I asked you all kinds of specifics you said you didn't know. I said, I, I, I believe I said that I didn't have a, a, a clear view of, the, of, the, of all the bottles, sir. Well, to, but today you're saying that this... Objection, this misstates the testimony. Which vials are we talking about? Well, let, let me sustain. ask. Sustain, just a moment. It's sustained. We ask. You're saying that this is the bottle you saw on June 25th, 2009. That's your testimony today. That is the testimony. It was, uh, appears to be. I'm going to overrule the objection, and you may explain. Uh, I said that appears to be the bottle that, that, that was in the bag. Appears. Yes, sir. Is it possible that you are confused about the timing of these? to police officers that you said that doc, you believe Dr. Murray and you were packing up to go to the hospital. Yes, sir. And in fact, you testified to that today, right? Yes, sir. And 
Actually, that's exactly what happened. You went to the hospital, and so did Dr. Murray. Is that right? So, isn't it possible, Mr. Alvarez, isn't it actually likely that when you talk about things that are being put away, it was while after the paramedics came and before you went to the hospital? No, sir. All right. Can you put, put the pad up for me? Judge, we're going to put up a pad and mark on a pad. Is there any particular place you, you, you want us? Can we have it right here? Can we put it right in front of the jury? Do we have an easel? We do. How about that? You scorch it? <laughs> yeah, I think he was asking where you want the easel. Uh, well, the for, for the benefit of the jury... Um, Can I put it over here? Perhaps that's the best location. We'll see. It, I don't know how big you're going to be riding, so... Or you could put it in the middle. I mean, I don't okay. know where it's best. One phone call, 1220. If you want to scoot over, Mr. Weldon, and brand or Ms. Brazil. It's okay to put over the corner. Sure. Okay. If you want this uh, marked as uh, defendant's G is in golf, Mr. Yes. Chairman? Yes, Judge. It's marked right now, G. All right. <clears throat> It's a uh, title timeline. It's Marches Defense Exhibit G, Judge. Thank you. All right. Now back to your phone records, we see that, that when Michael Amir Williams first called you, he called you at 12, 17 p.m. Is that right? Correct, sir. And he left a voicemail. Um, no, sir, I don't believe so. Uh, I believe it just went to voicemail. Um, but um, there was no voicemail. No voicemail? No, sir. And then Michael Amir Williams calls you again at 12.17. Correct. Same time. He, he leaves a voicemail? No, sir. But you call him back right away? That is correct. And uh, you call him and you have a six-second phone call to Michael Amir Williams? Correct. And you don't get him? Uh, no, it went straight to voicemail. And then you, you called him again? Correct. And, but you don't get it? No, sir. It goes to voicemail again? That is correct. And the, both of these calls took place at 12.18 p.m. Is that right? Yes, sir. So the first call was six seconds long. The second call was five seconds long. Correct. Okay. Then at 12.18, you call him again? Correct. Is that right? Mm -hmm. And this phone call lasts 88 seconds. You, you pointed out that when you usually go through the front of the house, it's when you're dropping Mr. Jackson off. Correct. You take his stuff in. Right. It's after the rehearsal. Correct. But you going through the house, front of the door, generally speaking, is an unusual occurrence. I mean, I wouldn't call it unusual. It's just not, not you know, it didn't happen all the time. Let's take a look at ex exhibit. Six, people exhibit six. You've already pointed out the security trailers right here. Is that Correct. right? Yes, sir. Pointing to that white box that you've already identified for the record. Yes. And next to the security trailer, there's a little tower, which is there's a door right next to the security trailer that's attached to that tower. Is that right? Correct. It goes to the kitchen. Mm -hmm. If you need yes. to use the restroom, you go through the kitchen. That is correct, sir. <laughs> but he has to go to the front. That is correct, sir. And then at some point, he asked you to jog. I'm sorry? He asked you to jog. He asked you to run. Oh, yes. He told me to speed up, yes. Did, did that alarm you? Um, well, I was already heightened. So, I mean, it just, I just, you know, proceeded to speed up. And you go from sitting in the trailer, browsing the Internet, right? Yes. Nothing's happening. Correct. Right. You had no concern that anything was happening inside the house. Um, that's correct, sir to go to the front door, start jogging to the front door, get in there. Correct. Your tension was high. That is correct. So you get to the front door, and you're instructed to go upstairs. Is that right? Um, at this particular moment, no. Until I, I said, you know...